is truly prepared to face a Mother's Day without their mother. In honor of Edith Marie Austin, my mother, I love you, I miss you, and I cherish every moment that we had. Your legacy continues on through me, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren. We love you. Please continue to rest in paradise. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Deacon Jerome, Jerome Battle with Springs of Living Water. Uh, we're getting ready to celebrate our Mother's Day uh, coming up. Uh, for me, my mother, uh, she passed away in 96. Sandra Pearson, uh, she was the one who led me to Christ. I'm a Christian because of her witness. She was a woman who was loving, compassionate, caring, and forgiving. Those four things that I learned to, to live with in my life today. Uh, she's greatly missed, but I greatly appreciate God for us having such a close mother-to-son relationship. And that's a blessing to me. So if I was to give any words to the young children today with, the, with mothers, is to just love them, listen to them. Uh, treat them with love and respect and uh, you have a good life serving God if you do it that way Amen Good morning and hi to everybody this is Mother's Day 2024 um, I want to talk about my mother her name was Tony Adams and my mother served in the U.S. Navy for mostly all my life but for mostly all of hers. Someone asked me what was the one thing or the special thing that I can talk about about her and that is her decision that she made to go into the military. And when she made that decision, I already kind of knew that she, I was the one to catch that bug of servanthood because as you can see, you know, I serve in the, arm, in the army of the Lord. But I'm so excited because she decided to do that and I decided to do that. And if I can tell you guys one thing about Mother's Day or mothers, because my mother has um, been deceased for 30, over 30 years, is that to love on your mother, hug on your mother, understand and let her know that you still love her. I don't care y'all done fall, fell out because, you know, there's an old saying going around that teeth and tongues may fall out, but they yet still have to come together. But always love on her. Respect her and watch God move for you. Bye. Hello, my name is Dorinda Hunter and I'm coming to um, talk about my mother, which is Doretha Woodland, who was a great mother, a great grandmother. Um, I just want to thank her for all that she had um, put in me. That's one of the reasons I chose to come in the medical field because I used to go out with her to take care of people. And I just want to say, Ma, I love you and I miss you so much. And I also want to say Happy Mother's Day to you and Happy Mother's Day to my daughters, Natasha Baker and Shamika Dyson. Love you all. Bye-bye. Give mother to my mother. Uh, may she rest in heavenly peace, and I, that and let her know that you know I miss her every day, and, and God bless her. And uh, just a just a shout out to the ones that do that still have their mother, cherish her, love her, and let her know daily, if you can, how special she is. And. Uh, But we just wanted to share with all our Springs family how much 
we love you. And all that you have poured in me as your daughter, and even um, your grandchildren, um, even your son, um, I just want to tell you that I love you. I love your life. And I will always cherish you. And I would like to say, I appreciate everything that you do, even though you don't complain about it, you don't get mad about it, but you just do it. And I greatly appreciate it. And happy Mother's Day to you. Even though my mom's not here, but you're like a mom to me. So I appreciate you. And to our youth, we just want to say, always celebrate your mom while she's here and not wait till she's gone. Happy Mother's, happy Mother's Day. Day. I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to my mom, even though she's not here. I wanted to thank her for being the woman she was. She gave me some good traits in life, some things to live off of. And I just wanted to say thank you. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do this without crying. Um, I, I want to take this time to also wish my mother a happy Mother's Day. Um, it's been over 20 years and it's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you. Um, the biggest thing that's hard is like I don't remember my mother's voice and like that eats me up every day. But I just wanted to say to all the young people out there, please cherish your mother. Because a lot of us out here don't have mothers and Matter of fact, go give your mother a hug. Tell your mother that you love her, please. Um, you know, I, I wish my mom was here, especially in my adulthood. I could use a hug right now. But uh, love you all. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Thank you. Now, uh, my mom. Gosh, I just can't believe that it's been... Uh, 26 years uh, since the, my mom got her wings and went home. I still uh, miss her. Uh, uh, she made me feel like, even knowing the fact that um, uh, we were below the poverty line, uh, I just can't even, I never felt like I was below the poverty line, that we were poor, because she gave me everything I, I needed. She, she struggled, uh, never learned how to drive. She took the, to the bus to work each and every day. As I look back to it, she did all this stuff and she sacrificed for me. Uh, I was able to bring her into my, my home. She lived the last 16 years of her life traveling around the country with us and, and so it, it blessed her. But she was all, she, and that wasn't the finish of her life. Because she was there in our home, uh, being a uh, help for, my, for, for Latanya, that Latanya was able to, to, to uh, go out and so we never had any latchkey kids at home because Granny, as she was expecting to know, was always there. And I, I love you, Mom. Hi, my name is Latanya Robinson Jimerson and I am here today to wish my mother, Virgie Mary Chambers Robinson, a happy Heavenly Mother's Day. I miss you immensely, Mom, for sure. But I'm thankful for all that you poured into my life. I still hear your corrections. I still hear your encouragement. I hear your admonishments. And your life continues to give into my life, even through my children. And so I'm uh, I'm thankful. I wish you were here to even see or hear some of the things that I said I would never do, that I do. Even things that I eat, that I said I wouldn't eat. I love asparagus, Mom. But anyway, um, I also want to wish a happy Mother's Day to my daughters, Linnea, Leah, and Lana, and Nicole. I thank God for uh, their lives and the mothers that they are and be blessed. See you on the other side. 
Happy Mother's Day, Ma. I appreciate you for doing everything that you do for me, taking care of me in, uh, over the past 14 years of my life. I love you and thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I thank you for bringing me into this world for the and taking care of me for the past nine years of my life. Hey, happy Mother's Day, babe. Um, just wanted to go ahead and say uh, thank you for everything that you do for me, the kids, and the Scotty. <clears throat> um, we appreciate you. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, baby. Oh, uh, what can I say? It's been... It's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a long journey, it's been a long road, but it's been a great one. One that I wouldn't trade uh, for anything in the world. Uh, on today, Mother's Day, I just want to say how much I appreciate you. How much I appreciate all you've done for our family, all that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the mother that you are, the great mother that you are, uh, the great wife that you are. And so today, I just want to celebrate you and just say thank you. I know a lot of times our schedule doesn't allow us to uh, see each other as much as we would want and <clears throat> sometimes we don't get a chance to communicate um, as well as we would want and so I just want to uh, clear up any misunderstanding that I do appreciate you, that I do love you and you are a wonderful mother, you are a great wife, you are a great woman of God. And I just thank God every day uh, to have you in my life and to have these beautiful children with you. And I know that they are truly blessed to have so beautiful a mother. And so I, I just want to celebrate you on today and just let you know that I love you, baby. And you always will be my number one, always and forever. I would like to give a special happy Mother's Day to my wife, Kimarni Fenwick. Uh, thank you for the wonderful mom you are to our daughter, Lori. Um, thank you for all the motherly qualities that you have that I lack, like doing her hair, um, getting her dressed, all those things that I know I'm not uh, too strong in. Um, just want to say thank you for the mother that you are. You're doing a wonderful job, and there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to continue to excel as a wonderful mother. Happy Mother's Day. Well, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the special mothers all over the world. Mothers are so special to me. I have plenty of them. I can even go down the list of all the mothers I have. They're all so special. But I want to give a special shout out to my wife. Uh, and I just want to tell you, thank you for all that you've done for our family. You are a superhero. I tell you that all the time. And I just want you to know that I cannot imagine doing this life without you. I love you so much. Just want to say happy Mother's Day to my beautiful wife, Alexandra. I love you so much. You are an amazing mother. And I couldn't think of a better partner to raise our beautiful daughter and future children. And at the same time, happy Mother's Day to my mama, wherever you at. You might be watching this online, maybe not, I don't know. But happy Mother's Day, I love you. Good morning, I'm Deacon Curtis. And uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to my wife, uh, Dorinda, on this day. Uh, on Mother's Day, she's a great mother and a wonderful wife, and I just want to give her the, the kudos this morning. Happy Mother's Day to my wife, and I'd like to thank her for being the person that she is, the person she's going to be, and the person that she's going to be to my lovely daughter. I'd just like to say Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Uh, how everybody doing? It's, uh, it's Eric. Um, first off, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, I want to give a special happy Mother's Day to my wife, Crystal. Uh, I just want to thank you for being an uh, awesome and amazing mother to our four beautiful children and our fifth, that's a, that is one away. Um, it's not enough words that can thank you for all that you do, you know, just being so loving, caring, and gentle to our children. Um, with that being said, I just want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day, and I hope you guys enjoy your day, and uh, love you all. Happy Mother's Day. I would like to say happy Mother's Day to my beautiful, lovely, and supportive wife, Lana Jarvis. 
Uh, thank you for loving me the way that you have for the last going on nine years of marriage. Um, I'm so blessed to have you as a part of my life. Um, uh, Imani is certainly blessed to ha have you as her mother. Um, I value and I appreciate all that you do for our family, all of the sacrifices you made, uh, your commitment um, as a wife and a mother. And I pray that this Mother's Day you will feel loved, you will feel um, appreciated, and you will feel valued because you are special. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Leah. I just wanted to uh, uh, say Happy Mother's Day. I appreciate everything you are to our family. Um, I'm, I'm sure Mike and Ariana appreciate it as well. Uh, you are the glue that holds the Onoha family together, and I thank you for everything that you do. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to begin to name it one by one because it's just so much, but just know that we appreciate you and we love you. Hey, I'm Jerry. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, my baby's mama and wife, <laughs> Vadea. Uh, I know it's been interesting raising three kids and they're all teenagers, but you've done an outstanding job between homeschooling and then teaching at a, the private school and just sacrificing through this journey of motherhood and pouring back into the children. Um, sometimes it seems like it's not appreciated probably by me or the kids, but know that you are loved and we appreciate all you do. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, my name is Joseph Jimerson II, JJ, as most people call me. Um, I just want to give a special shout out to my wife, uh, Nicole Jimerson, on this uh, Mother's Day. I also want to give a shout out to my mother, uh, Apostle Latanya Jimerson, and my sisters, um, Leah, uh, Linnea, and Lana, um, on all to wish this happy Mother's Day. I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you all, to my wife especially. I appreciate you. You came into my life and I had a child and you just ran with it. You are the most wonderful mother. You're better than I could have ever asked God for. Um, and my mom, you know, I appreciate you because you mothered me um, and I love you and all my sisters to show you that uh, how I've seen you all be wonderful mothers. So happy Mother's Day once again. Wow, uh, Linnea, the, the oldest girl. Uh, she is just the, the chip off the block of her mother. Uh, she's spicy, and she is such a great mother, and I encourage her as she uh, mothers her uh, three children and sacrifice for them, even just a whole lot like her mother did. And we can see the fruits of that labor as her oldest is about to graduate from uh, high school. Uh, bless you, Renee. Okay, Leah. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just, uh, just uh, thank you for, for her diligence, see, her moldiness of how she has uh, molded her, her two children in, in, in the correct uh, image, how she's taken two cultures and put them together, how she's been a bridge uh, in the family of, of, of Tobe. Uh, you know, she said that, hey, she's got a boy and a girl and that's it. Maybe God has something more for her. But even though the fact she, uh, uh, she actually mothers uh, all the teenagers in the church. And God has blessed her and I, and I bless her too. Amen. Anna, the baby. Her care and, and things of her being a mother. And she, uh, with her first child, got the strong willed child of Imani, and she's just uh, learning all those lessons. And I just uh, bless her with having for her, her next child to be such a compliant child that she won't even believe the difference between the two. Because God does do awesome things that each and every individual child is uh, a blessing to their mother and they're, they're different. Thank you for all of their lives. Amen. Wow, wow. It's been uh, just about 47 years that uh, God blessed me with the angel of my life. And she allowed me the fulfillment of my dreams. I wanted to have 
uh, five boys who was God, God knew better, but the first was a son. And as I held him, held him in my arms, and I was the first one to have him, you know, and I looked in her face as she had uh, struggled through uh, having that birth. And I said, I just said, thank God for her. And her fingertips of mothering all four of my children have been so precious that she has been uh, a godly mother. Uh, she, uh, even though she's in her own right, she could have went out into the, the world and had all kinds of success and completed her education, she decided to, to, to be in my plan and be at home with our children. And for that, we've seen a, a great things that, that, that have happened for them because she was there, she was a stable force. And I love her each and every day for that.